I went anyway, I could put it in some wagon. Some went easy, some didn't go so easy. And uh, when they don't, then you take them any way that they want to come, which sometimes is not the nicest way, but they'll get in the wagon anyway. But who were we? We were their sons and daughters. We weren't some invading army from the outside. It was their worst nightmare. We were an invading army from the inside. And I think it's part of what freaked them out. The crowd chanted, the whole world is watching, convinced that the sight of young people being beaten by police would stir a public outcry. Far At 8 o'clock, the delegates gathered to name their presidential candidate. As the nation focused its attention on the convention floor, the fighting in front of the Hilton subsided. But images of the bloodshed were only now trickling into the broadcast centers. During the nomination process, the monitors for events around the town started to light up. And I was ignoring it because it was over my shoulder and I had enough to do just trying to control what we were showing of events on the floor. Until Shad Norshield, who was in charge of the outside activities, screamed at me. Look at these, you son of a bitch. And I turned around, and there was scenes of police beating up kids in a way that I had not seen before. News executives faced an unprecedented dilemma. Should they cut away from the selection of a presidential candidate to cover an event that had happened earlier that evening? Do I use this or don't I use this? Is it news or is it propaganda? You know, and I don't have time for a seminar. And finally, I decided this was news. And that's what we were there for, and we had to show it. I told Huntley and Brinkley just enough for them to say what was going on. This is on tape, since again, we're not able to cover it live. The tape you're about to see was made about uh, 30 to 40 minutes ago. And we rolled the tape. Hubert Humphrey sat helpless as the American people watched his nomination through a prism of violence and turmoil. I'm sure he must have felt sick at heart that the image being portrayed to the rest of the country was that one of disunity and violence. Obviously, he knew that and knew it would hurt him. For that purpose! The reality for the viewing American people was what they saw via their television screen. And the screen was showing them, at a critical moment in the convention, violence conflict, disorder. It was dreadful and added to the public perception that we Democrats could not run a convention, much less a country. Following Humphrey's nomination, anti-war delegates left the hall for a candlelight march through the streets. One political observer noted, the Democrats are finished. For the demonstrators, the whole world was watching. But opinion polls later showed that a majority of Americans had turned against them. Declaring he represented the non-shouters, the forgotten Americans, Republican Richard Nixon defeated Hubert Humphrey in the November election by less than 1%. The Vietnam War would go on for seven more years.